A former Las Cruces teacher is back in the hot seat tonight. Back in 2021, Patrick Howard admitted to molesting some of his female students. Then last month, a federal jury awarded one victim $44 million. Yeah, but what's become of his criminal case has victims and attorneys up in arms. Here's for investigator Brittany Costello. It started out innocent. They thought unintentional until things intensified. The touching marked with colored sticky notes turned uncomfortable, then unbearable. I didn't want to be around him, and if I was around him, I did not want to be alone. TR, will call her, is 22. She was 15 when it started, a student at Las Cruces High School. And she became his favorite, and he targeted her. Patrick Howard was her mentor, her teacher, her future Farmers of America advisor, and her abuser. And she trusted him and believed in him, and her 15-year-old self and her 16-year-old self then had to realize that, no, he was just treating her in this way because he was sexually attracted to her. Attorney Shannon Kennedy says Howard admitted it in federal court where he was sued for civil rights violations. On the stand, Howard said he touched TR even while she was sleeping on school trips. He told her attorneys he was pleasured by it. It was so out of bounds that a jury ordered him to pay TR $44 million in March. It says you matter and that these injuries are real. But before long, TR and her attorney were thrust back into Howard's criminal case. Within weeks of the jury's $44 million verdict, he and his defense attorney and the DA came into court and he was released from probation two years early. I was really upset, like infuriated and just like at a loss for words that the fact that even happened. And how it happened really starts in 2018 when he was arrested on five charges related to sexually touching his female students. Facing 24 years in prison, Howard took a deal in 2021. He admitted to touching two students in exchange for five years probation and a conditional discharge. That means if he doesn't pick up new charges, the felony sex charges disappear. I was told that the plea was the only way I was gonna get hit, like any sort of justice. And I think that's ridiculous. From the moment Howard signed the deal, TR says she learned all about what she calls the good old boys club of Las Cruces. You think there was some special treatment going on? Yeah. For most criminals, probation means no alcohol, no weapons, no contact of any kind with the victim. But for some reason, Patrick Howard didn't have to play by those rules. State District Court Judge Douglas Driggers amended his probation, giving him the okay to drink, to carry guns, even attend sporting events at NMSU where his victims went to college. In other words, no consequences whatsoever um, in his life, impacting her life. New Mexico's probation and parole office objected. In fact, court documents show Howard's probation officer even refused to sign the orders. We searched through nearly 200 felony level sexual crimes. We couldn't find one other person who got that level of relaxed restrictions. Then, after the $44 million verdict, after Howard's admission of sexual gratification, and despite a state law requiring sexual assault victims to be notified of decisions like this, Judge Driggers discharged Howard from probation two years early. That's unheard of, and really a betrayal by the DA's office, by Judge Driggers, a betrayal of the community of young women who were so impacted and so courageous to stop this man from hurting others. Judge Driggers denied our request for an interview. We sat down with District Attorney Gerald Byers. He says he was unaware of Howard's unusual conditions of probation. Have you ever seen that before? No. Was that a shock to you? When I learned of that, yes. Byers says a very experienced prosecutor made the call to plea bargain to cut out the sex offender registry and allow for a conditional discharge, he notes, with the permission of the victims in this case. We asked if that prosecutor was the same attorney brought up in Howard's federal trial, who Howard says he may have known from church. I have no idea who um, the prosecutor knew. I have no idea who the defendant knew. But all I can tell you is that I have nothing in the record that gives me any reason to believe 
that this prosecutor who handled this case gave this guy uh, any special dispensation because of friendship or prior knowledge or anything else like that. He admits his office failed to notify Howard's victims before the judge discharged his probation two years early. I sincerely apologize and for and I can tell you who's responsible for that. I am. You know why I'm responsible for that? Because I'm the elected district attorney. It says to victims of sexual abuse, you don't matter. Right now, in grad school out of state, TR doesn't know if she will ever feel safe returning to the place she once called home. Saying she came forward so someone else's child knows touching is abuse. I just think it's really disgusting that a lot of people think rape is what should be the standard for something to be considered wrong. The New Mexico Department of Justice is looking into how this case played out. We're told consulting with the 3rd Judicial District Attorney's Office. Brittany Costello for Investigates. A lot more questions there. We did reach out to Howard, his civil and criminal attorneys. They didn't get back to us. Howard's New Mexico Public Schools Insurance Authority policy will be on the hook for that $44 million judgment. But we also learned because of the conditional discharge, Brittany explained that policy could even cover his criminal defense attorney fees.